Hey guys, it's Alexi. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is what I promise you guys. This is part two of my thrifting haul. So if you guys missed part one, definitely X out this video and I will have part one tagged above and I'll also have it linked down in the description box. You definitely want to check that one out first because that is the video where I actually take you thrifting with me. And this video today is me just sharing all of the rest of the items that I did not get a chance to share in my last video because it was getting a little bit too long. So we are going to get started with this haul, but before we do, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Definitely hit that subscribe button and I'm going to be sharing everything I got. I have some home stuff, some organization stuff. I even have some wedding stuff that I have been picking up for my wedding here in just a couple of months. So I'm super excited to share everything with you guys and let's get started. I also wanted to include a couple of things that I got from a thrift store here in Charleston called Community Thrift. It's on Dorchester Road if you guys are local. I know a lot of my subscribers live in the Charleston area so I wanted to share that. So this is the item that I got from Community Thrift. Um, it is a popcorn bowl and this was $5.99. I love this. It's like a ceramic bowl. I love it because it's like this off-white color and then it has this black rim around it. We love making popcorn and when you eat it like out the bag your hands always just get so greasy. So whenever I pop it in the bag I like to just transfer it to this bowl. We've already used it about two times so we have really been enjoying it and for $5.99 that is such an amazing price. Next up we have this woven basket that I got from Goodwill and this was priced at $2.99. All of their baskets are $2.99 unless they're marked differently. So I I was super excited to get this basket. I actually store my laptop and all my cords on the fireplace in my family room. I like to do a lot of work for my laptop on the couch and when I'm not utilizing my laptop, I like to have it stored away. So whenever you guys see me do like my cleaning videos and I walk my laptop to the fireplace area, this is where my laptop is going. It just makes things so pretty and nice. It matches my decor really well in my family room and I just like it because it hides my laptop and all the cords and stuff and it just, just makes it look junk free, I guess you can say. So I love getting baskets from Goodwill. They're usually between like $2.99 and $5. And I always find that their baskets are in such good condition. Something like this at like Home Goods would have probably been like $15. So the fact that I got it for $2.99, that is such a steal to organize my laptop. So next item I got, I actually got from a community thrift and this was $1.99. And I was super excited when I found this because it is an egg or organizer by the way. I actually have an acrylic one already in my fridge and I use that one for my raw eggs. This is actually the one I'm going to use for my cooked eggs. We love having hard boiled eggs. So what I'm going to do is I usually make a big batch of hard boiled eggs in the beginning of the week. I will go ahead and peel them and just store them in here and they're really good for snacks. You can also put them on salads and I like to chop them up and put them in like tuna and things like that. So having hard boiled eggs on hand is perfect and I just love this like baby blue color. I thought that was so fun and it has this acrylic top and this was brand new it had the tag on it and I want to say brand new it was $9.99 and I only paid two bucks for it so I got this for such a steal Next up, I got a cookbook. You guys know I love going to the book selection at Goodwill. They have the best books. All of their books at my particular Goodwill is $1.99. So this is actually a Vitamix cookbook. It had a ugly cover on top of it. I didn't like it, so I removed it. So it's just this beautiful like tan color. And I love it because I actually owned a Vitamix and it's a blender, it's like a high powered blender. And I make all of my green smoothies in it. I make my nut butters in it. I make my almond milk and my cashew milks in it. And that's about all all I know how to make. The reason why I got the Vitamix is because there's so much recipes you can make in it. You could make like soup, like hot soup and literally transfer it from the blender to your bowl. That's how hot it gets. But I have no experience doing that. So when I saw this cookbook, I started to go through it at Goodwill and it teaches you how to make like hot soups in your Vitamix. So I thought that was super exciting. And I saw this same book for $29.99 online, so for 30 bucks, and I could pay $2 for it. You can even make some um, alcohol beverages in here. It has some different smoothie recipes. It has some soup recipes. It has some dip recipes. It's like a French onion dip. It also has, um, I wanna say it had a spinach and artichoke dip and it also had a guacamole dip in here. So I'm super excited to learn all the things I could do with my Vitamix. And for $1.99, that is such a steal for a good cookbook. 
So next up, I wanted to share with you guys something that I got from Goodwill. So this is a pack of candle holders. It actually came in a pack of 24. You guys heard me correctly. 24 of these glass candle holders. It was only $5.99 for 24 glass candle holders. So I'm getting married in a couple of months and I'm actually responsible. Well, I've taken on the responsibility of planning all of the decor for my wedding and I've been accumulating stuff for a long time. So I have been accumulating a lot and honestly most of the stuff I have gotten from Goodwill. So this, like I said, 24 of these glass candle holders. I plan to put some candles in it and what I love about it is you can use this side for like a larger candle and then you can use this side for like the tapered candle. I thought these were beautiful and they are just so gorgeous. I actually can use these around my house as well like if I wanted to do like a holiday tablescape for like Christmas or Thanksgiving but I have 24 of these. I only pulled out four. These are gonna be perfect for my wedding. So what I'm thinking I wanna do is I wanna have like tons of greenery and roses intertwined in my candles. So my ceremony is gonna be during the daytime, but my actual like reception is gonna be at nighttime. So I wanna have tons of candles lit. It's gonna be so romantic and beautiful. So. I am so excited that I got 24 of these. I actually was looking on Amazon for these and I wanna say a pack of 10 was like 30 bucks. I do need to clean them because the person must've used them and has a little bit of wax only in some of them. So I'm just going to soak them in some hot water and the wax will remove right away. It's gonna be so beautiful for my wedding and I'm also going to, like I said, use them even after my wedding. I wanted to share with you guys how I could use these. So obviously for my wedding, I'm gonna use real candles, but this is just an example. I don't have any real candles on hand. You can use them like this. So you have the tapered candle and this is gonna be all on the table with the greenery and the rose, it's gonna be so pretty. And then you also can use the other side. So I can hold it with two hands like this. So you can kind of have the different heights. So I'm really excited to get some candles that are this size and then get some that are this size and then just kind of have them going around the table with the roses and the greenery intertwined in it. I think that's gonna be so beautiful. So in my last Goodwill haul, I took you guys in the store and I share with you tons of organization options that Goodwill has. I have honestly gotten most of my organization tools from Goodwill. They have the most amazing organization tools. So I picked up this guy. This is a black organizer and I actually have two other organizers in my cabinet. I actually took all the tops off or out of this for this video so you guys can see it. So you could actually use it this way where you could slide all of like your pots in here or I guess you can say like, what is the pot called where you scramble eggs in? I guess it would be a skillet. You can store all your skillets in here but what I've been doing is I already have one to store my skillets and my pots that I actually picked up from Goodwill as well. I turned it this way and I have something to organize my lid. So all my lids to my pots and pans go in here and they're glass. I don't have to worry about them breaking. They're out of the way. I can just grab them when I'm cooking. This was $1.99 from Goodwill. Something like this on Amazon is like $13 or $14. So the fact that I got it for $1.99, that is such a steal. I love this so much. So if you are in need of some organization tools, I strongly recommend checking out Goodwill. They have so many different options there to organize your cabinets. So my cabinet was super pretty. I got to put it back, but I have all of my pots and pans organized, I have all my lids organized, and it makes me really happy when I open up that cabinet. The next item I actually got for my wedding as well, and I wanted to share this because Goodwill has amazing options for wall art and also like picture frames. I shared in my last thrifting haul that a lot of times if you don't like the print that's inside of the frame, you can just pop it out and put whatever kind of print you want inside of it. So I picked up these picture frames and they still have the price tag on them because I'm not exactly ready to use them yet actually goes this way and these are eight by ten picture frames and I plan to use these for my wedding and then when my wedding is over I plan to use these around my house so what I'm going to do these were $2.99 each which is such a steal I had originally ordered a pack of ten from Amazon and I want to say it was like 24 bucks but they were awful quality. They were really flimsy and really cheap. They just didn't look good, you guys. So I ended up returning those and I was super happy to find these like very expensive looking portraits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint these gold around because that's my wedding colors, blush pink and gold. So I'm gonna spray paint them gold and they're gonna look so good. And I don't know what I'm gonna put in them yet. Maybe pictures of us. And then after the wedding, like I said, I'm gonna use these around my house. I picked up two of these ones. 
And these ones are actually could kind of go because it's like a champagne gold. My gold that I'm using for my wedding is more of like a bright gold, but I think this would actually be pretty mixed with like a bright gold and maybe a champagne gold. I'm gonna see how it looks. So I may not spray paint these ones, but for $2.99 for a high-end picture frame, you can tell these are very good quality. They're not like the ones from Amazon didn't even have glass. It was like a plastic. It just didn't look good. So I'm super excited that I was able to get these four eight by 10 picture frames for $2.99 each. That is such a steal. Next up, I wanted to share a serving dish that I got from Goodwill. I actually own the larger one of these as well. I got that one from Goodwill like maybe three or four months ago. So what I will say is I get questions about my white plates, my white bowls all of the time and 50% of my serving dishes came from Goodwill. I will say that I splurged when my fiance, we had a surprise birthday party for him. His last birthday, which was last year, I was really in need of serving dishes and I went to Goodwill I was hunting I was searching for them and I couldn't find them and I ended up just buying them at Target and spending like $75 on all the serving dishes I needed and I kicked myself in the butt because literally like the week later I found so many serving dishes at Goodwill the same brand that I had so what I'll say is now's the time you want to start building your collection we have Thanksgiving coming up we have Christmas coming up so what I'll say is you want to start building your collection now Things do not have to be the same brand. As long as everything is white, it will go so amazing together when you're hosting Thanksgiving and Christmas. So every time I go to Goodwill and I see serving dishes, I try to pick some up because I'm still building my collection. Right now I have quite a bit of pieces. I wanna say I have about 15 pieces, which seems like a lot, but when you're hosting like Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner, it's really not as much as you think it is. So I am accumulating a lot of white serving dishes. They're all different brands, but you would never know when it is like laid out on the table because they're all white. They all go really well together. So um, this one we actually used a couple of days ago and I made some red lobster biscuits. I got the recipe off Pinterest. You guys, they were so good. And I made the biscuits and I just put them in this container and just had it on the table. So you could do that with this. You could also put some spinach dip or buffalo chicken dip. You can do a lot with this little serving dish, but I strongly recommend, I share with you guys in my Goodwill shopping haul or my shop with me that Goodwill is the place to go to get your serving dishes. Don't go to Target like I did. Now's the time, like I said, to build that collection because Thanksgiving's gonna be here before you know it. And it's very rare that you're gonna find all the pieces you're gonna need. You're probably gonna pick up two to three pieces here and there. So build that collection now. You will thank me later because this guy right here was literally $3. And this at Target for just this alone would have been like $13 or $14 for just this. So such a steal. Next item I got is actually still in the box. This is for my wedding as well. I'm telling you, if you guys are getting married anytime soon, check out Goodwill because a lot of brides have already had their wedding and they just don't wanna deal with selling stuff. So they just donate it to Goodwill. And I have scored so much stuff for my wedding that you would not even believe. So this is one of those items that came in this box. It is priced at $4.99 and there are 12 of these candles inside. Let me get one out for you guys. So the person that purchased these must have never used them because there's no wax or anything inside of them, which lets me know they were not used and it still has the price tag at the bottom that I need to peel off. But these are tea light candle holders. I thought these were beautiful. Again, I want tons of candles for my wedding because the reception is gonna be at nighttime and I just want candles all over the table. So what I'm going to probably do with these is I'm going to spray paint this little lid part I'm gonna spray paint it gold to match the picture frames and match all of my other decor that I have. And then they will just go like that and the tea light candle would go at top. You can even put some water at the bottom if you wanted it to kind of look like it's floating. That'd be pretty too. But I'm probably just gonna put a tea light candle. These are amazing, you guys. The fact that I got 12 for $4.99 is such a steal. These are like taped in here really well so I can't show you any more, but I'm sure someone bought these for their wedding and they just ended up donating them, not using them, but I definitely can see these being spread out on the table. I have scored so much wedding stuff from Goodwill. Don't sleep on Goodwill. You guys should definitely check it out. Next item I got from Goodwill is my beach tote. So I actually really 
can't get this in frame because it's so big. I actually really needed a beach tote and this was $5.29 I believe. All the purses are like a little over $5 and I thought this was beautiful. It is by the brand The Limited and for just under $6 to have a gorgeous beach bag has like a tan and chocolate color in it. I usually don't really do much of my shopping from Goodwill like my fashion finds anymore. I mostly go to community thrift because I find things to be a lot more affordable but I could not pass this beach toad up. I almost did a double take. I'm like, is that what I think it is? So you can get some really good fashion finds from there too. And I thought that was such a good price. I cannot wait to wear this to the beach. It's so cute. Stuff I had to share with you guys these beautiful gold mirrors that I scored from Goodwill. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, then you would have already seen these, but I had to share them over on my YouTube channel because they're my favorite Goodwill purchase. Like they are so good, you guys. So they are these massive massive mirrors. They, I don't know if I can really show you how big they are. I want to put them above the nightstand in the master, but we have windows above our nightstand, so that's not gonna work out. So what I'm going to do is these are gonna go above the nightstand in the guest room, but I want to spray paint them. Do you guys see that console table behind me? I wanna spray paint these mirrors that same gold color. I think it's gonna be so pretty. These are inspired by the Anthropology um, mirrors. I don't know if you guys have seen them there. They're like maybe five or $600 each and they look just like this. And they're the same gold color behind me. So I think they're even gonna look more expensive when I spray paint them. Cause right now they're just like the champagne gold, which is still really pretty, but just doesn't match the decor in my house but I'm not going to use them in the guest room yet. I'm actually gonna use this guy for my wedding actually. So I saw on Pinterest, a lot of people make their seating chart on a mirror. So my sister has a Cricut machine and she is going to make the decals to go on this mirror. So it's just gonna say like table one, table two, table three, and it's gonna have all the people that are gonna be sitting at each table and it's gonna go on a stand for my wedding. So I'm gonna save them for my wedding and then when I'm done with them, they are definitely going to go in the guest room. And these were $9.99 each and the girl charged me $9.99 for both of them. I think they were supposed to be $9.99 for the set, but it has $9.99 on each of them. So I'm not sure. All I know is I paid $10 for both of these. So such an amazing steal. Oh, I forgot these. I definitely got these that same week from Goodwill and I wanted to share with you guys these glasses. So they're just these glass mugs and it did not just come with two. It came with 12 of these, you guys. These were $6.99 for 12, which is such an amazing deal. They're very high quality. I've already like washed these, used them. I put them in the dishwasher. You can have coffee, tea, any beverage you really want to have. You can even put iced coffee in here. These are so much fun. I'm gonna make some like pumpkin spice latte and then as it gets winter I want to make my homemade hot chocolate in these I just think they're so fun and I cannot believe I got 12 of these so I just keep four in my cabinet and then I keep the rest of them in my cabinet above my fridge because 12 is just so much I don't know if I'm ever going to need that many but for the price, I just bought the entire set. These glasses I shared on Instagram, it's four of them. I only just took two out the cabinet and these were two for 99 cents. So I got the set of four for $2. And they're just these glasses, but I love them because it has this building on them. I promise you there's a building that looks just like this downtown Charleston. I honestly think this is a Charleston building that someone put this decal on. I'm not really sure, but I love these. You guys already know how I feel about Charleston from my last thrifting haul. So when I saw these, I was like, oh my God, these are coming home with me. I usually will have like some iced coffee out of them or just some water. They're just so much fun. And I got a set of four for $2. Okay guys, so I'm just looking in front of me to make sure I got everything and I think I did. So that is everything that I picked up from Goodwill in just a week's amount of time. Definitely check out part one if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear it down in the comments what was your favorite item that I picked up. Also, if you guys want me to go and do another thrift shop with me, let me know. I have so many thrift stores that I love going to here in the Charleston area. So I definitely can film some more more, and I will be seeing you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye!